7 of our diesel ZR2 buildup is the installation of the AEV rear bumper with some rigid backup lights. The first step will be removing the spare tire from the vehicle. Lower that, pull it out of your way, and then grab a hold of this harness, which is the coax for the backup camera. As you can see here in this picture, we've already got the trailer wiring harness disconnected as well. As you can see here, there are several retainers along the back side of the bumper that hold the wiring harness in place. Some of these are kind of hard to get a hold of, but once you get all those out, you can pull the entire harness to the side of the truck and tie it up out of the way for clearance. Remove the two 13 millimeter head bolts holding the spare tire support bracket to the receiver hitch. Remove the 21 millimeter head bolts from the bottom of the hitch that go up through the hitch to the frame of the truck. There's going to be two of these per side as well as two 21 millimeter bolts going from the outside holding the bumper to the frame of the truck. When those eight 21 millimeter bolts are pulled off, you can take the assistance of a friend and remove the bumper from the truck. Next, we'll unpackage some of the components for the rear bumper. Here is the guide tube for the spare tire crank kit, as well as the hardware. You will have two of these support brackets. These tie the bumper as it wraps around the side of the truck into the frame as well as the body mount. We opted for the optional LED light mount kit. This allows you to mount a rigid dually style light in the rear bumper for reverse or auxiliary lighting. Next, you'll remove the rearmost body mount, which holds the body or the bed of the truck to the frame. This is an 18 millimeter head. You will remove these from both sides. As you can see behind the socket, there are two diagonally uh, drilled holes already in the frame. Early models do not have this and will require drilling. Those line up with the brackets as well as the rearmost bed mount that we just removed in the last step. Next, you'll take this nut plate and it inserts into the large hole in the frame and lines up with those two body mount bolts that tie the bumper bracket into the frame. Reinsert that last body mount bolt. That was the 18 millimeter. Go ahead and fasten it and then you have the two side mounted bolts that hold the bracket to the frame. You may now tighten all three of these bolts. Next will be the installation of our LED lights in the rear bumper. We will remove this Torx head bolt from both sides to allow fitment of the new LED auxiliary light brackets. Remove the nut clip from both sides. Here's the finished product of the LED lights and the auxiliary light brackets. We used that original hole where we just removed that Torx bolt and nut clip, and now we have a through bolt and nut holding the light and the bracket in place.
Here you can see we've reinstalled all eight 21 millimeter head bolts. You have two in the bottom on each side and two on the side on each side, as well as two bolts holding the side of the bumper bracket to that new mount on the frame. Here you can see where the seven pin connector was removed from the original bumper. You'll just depress those two tabs and push it out of the back of the bumper. And that simply just snaps into the new bumper. Reinstall all of the wiring push clips as well as the license plate light, the seven pin connector, and your camera wiring harness. Next you'll install the guide tube for your winch for your spare tire. This simply snaps into place but you'll want to get on the back side to make sure the fingers of the metal support ring have snapped into place properly on the groove of the plastic. Thanks for watching part 7 of our ZR2 diesel buildup. Follow along as we add more accessories to this truck in the future.